So we're here in the garden in the nursery with uh, Jimmy Williams. Hi, Jimmy. How are Hi, you? Hi, how are you? Thanks Great. for being here. Thanks mm -hmm. for taking the time to talk with us today. So mm -hmm. tell us what we're about here, Jimmy. Well, this, this is our nursery. Uh, we grow vegetable, all the vegetable categories, herbs, fruit trees, berries of all kinds. Right, and uh, the biggest part of it, we build edible gardens. Wow! For uh, home gardeners or small farmers, right? Um, we we like the special thing. We specialize in home gardening. Right. 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 I, I think that's one of my favorite things to do because they're all different. Right. Of so course, you never yeah. really get bored with what you're doing. Mm -hmm. This is something we do the day before every market. You know, because we do three farmers markets, and we we kind of like this hand labeling gives it a nice personal touch. To me, it's the best chart. It's a, uh, it's a chart that came to the Bay Area like 1800 something, right? Oh, it stays tender, tender. all the time. Yeah. This is the result of me planting the whole tomato. It's a, just a yucky, rotten tomato. And they all seem to work out much better. They're stronger seedlings for some reason. Brazilian banana. And what's the flavor? It has an orange pineapple flavor. And it has a lingering flavor too. It stays with you for a long time. This this plant is it's called Oya Santa and it's the leaf that's used to make the best tamales are made from this leaf and it has a wonderful flavor. Smell smell this one. There's a little place at the base of uh, Mount Kilimanjaro called Moshi and that's where this comes from. Right so we call it the Moshi, Moshi uh, chili. This is our mound before it goes in the compost pit. So we found that growing it in the pit is a lot better. It composts faster. All right? Plus you can go down. This goes down four feet under the ground. So the volume here is it's just I don't know how much it is, it's more than a ton of compost. And how long does it take, Jimmy? It takes about a month and a half to two months before it's finished because we use that biodynamic activator. And what is what is the what is the activator that you use? It's uh, it's by Dr. Pfeiffer, and it consists of 55 different um, beneficial bacteria just mm -hmm. for composting, mm -hmm. and it really cuts the compost time in half. I put some water in like once a week, uh -huh. depending on how moist it is. And a little bit of that activator. And the activator, right? think it's the original collard. They think all the other varieties came from this one. But anyway, as you can see, uh, it's about 10 feet right now and it's still growing. So um, we're just going to let it grow and see how tall it really is going to get. I'm Susan Hager and this is Jimmy Williams. I'm Jimmy Williams. And we wrote this book together. From called Seed, Seed the Skillet. And it is a manual on growing organic edibles, um, vegetables, fruit, and fruit trees, and um, saving seeds, and cooking um, the wonderful produce that you get from your garden. We'll see you at the Spring Planting Festival in I, Missouri. I cannot wait. I've never been there, and I heard it was beautiful. And we'll see you at the National Heirloom Exposition in September. Right. All right. Again. Again. <laughs> Thank you, Jimmy.